Constituency Development Fund, CDF, is a decentralized initiative which sends funds from the central government to each constituency for spending on development of projects intended to address local problems. CDF is the flagship project for the current government. Basically, the role of the ministry is to provide an oversight role. And in so doing, they are basically doing two major things. One is to, ensure, is to ensure whether the projects that we are undertaking are being implemented correctly. The second one is, are the relevant statutes being adhered to? pertaining to management of public resources. CDF, in a nutshell, is actually a practical example of decentralization which government has undertaken. In the process of the implementation of this fund, the functions and resources have been devolved to the district and to the sub-district levels. The people themselves decide what projects they want and how they should be implemented. In Zambia, Constituency Development Fund was introduced by the government in 1995 with an allocation of 600,000 kwacha per constituency. What you are supposed to have when you are applying for, for these funds, the, the empowerment loans and mm. the bursaries, mm. uh, the criteria is that uh, you must have a minimum of 10 members mm. if you are a cooperative. That is membership, the minimum of 10 members. The second one is a proof of bank account or mobile wallet registered for the group. The third is the proposal for empowerment shall provide employment opportunity. This is what I was talking about, that mm. you, are, you, you must demonstrate mm. that you'll be able to employ yourself and also anyone who would approach you for an employment opportunity. You must uh, demonstrate. And also the other one is that the proposed project mm. is being undertaken within the constituency. Mm. And then... Applicants must have been resident in the constituents for over six months. Yeah, I, I already talked about this. And then the cooperatives, clubs, association, and organized groups may qualify for maximum of 40,000 kwacha. That is the maximum. So even if you are given a, a, a lesser amount mm, mm. today, then there's hope that you might be given four amounts. For example, you are given... A, 10,000 or 15,000 kwacha this year, mm. you still qualify because you haven't uh, exceeded that uh, ceiling. This is a, a demonstration from the significant increment in terms of CDF, Constituents Development Fund. It has been uh, significantly increased to impact on the lives of the people. And this is what we should commend the new government for. It is... Uh, I think uh, on, on behalf of my colleagues and many uh, people out there, we should commend government uh, for this initiative, mm. for increasing CDF significantly 
from a value of 1.6 million kwacha to now, as I am speaking, 20, 28.3 million kwacha. It is something commendable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I will give you an example of some of the projects that uh, will be undertaking as a result of that increment. Mm -hmm. So in Chawama, for example, there will be an, a construction of uh, uh, admission ward mm -hmm. at Freedom Clinic. Mm -hmm. Yes, phase one and two. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be kickstarting anytime, anytime soon. Mm -hmm. It will be kickstarting. Mm -hmm. And also Kabwata, mm -hmm. paving of Chilenje first level hospital. Mm -hmm. It will be done through the increment of CDF. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mandevu, construction of maternity wing mm -hmm. at Fumbelo Health, uh, Health Center. That will be done also. Mm -hmm. And then also the construction of uh, mortuary and sewer connection uh, from Lusaka Water and Sewerage mm -hmm. Company at Chipata mm -hmm. Clinic. Mm -hmm. And also the construction of mortuary at uh, Matero, level one hospital mm -hmm. in Muchinga Ward. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other one is the completion of Kapwepe maternity block mm. in Kapwepe Ward. The increase in CDF allocation has resulted in improved distribution of empowerment funds for women, youths and other beneficiary groups. Firstly, I want to say thank you to the government of the day for this decision to give these resources, resources to the communities through this fund. When we talk about accountability as public institutions, we cannot reinvent the wheel. There are statutes which guide us on how to use this fund, one being the CDF Act itself, number 11 of 2018 and the attendant regulations. The other statute which guides us is the Public Finance Act number one of 2018. And then when pro procuring the, 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 the projects, we are guided by the ZPPA Act number eight of 2020 and its attendant regulations. Kanyama is one of the seven constituencies of Lusaka District and has six wards and more than 600 cooperative groups which have benefited from the Constituency Development Fund Cooperatives Grants. I've been going around in a few uh, uh, cooperatives that have uh, managed to secure these you know, funds. A number of them have gone into chicken rearing. Though each time you visit them, they will tell you what constraints here and there, but uh, we are forging ahead. So far, the groups that I've, I've met, I think uh, the component of CDF has really changed their lives. We funded uh, quite a number of uh, 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 words and uh, we funded quite a number of uh, cooperatives uh, under CDF. Uh, in Kanyama, we have six, uh, six words. That's uh, uh, Kanyama Ward, we have uh, uh, Munkolo, we have Wadi Mwanga, then we have Makenvira, we have Garden Park, and we have Chinika Ward. Truth of Life Cooperative in Kanyama Ward 10 received 25,000 Kwacha Constituency Development Funds grant. Using these funds, the cooperative started a farming business of growing Irish potatoes and chili on a five hectares rented farm. The cooperative already has a market to sell its chili when it is harvested. The chili will be harvested for three years before the other chili is planted in the field. The cooperative members are grateful to government for the Constituency Development Fund grant which they received. <laughs> Isemonga is my by Guru Yangai. Tenzeli Pepo Yambira. Tenzeli Bilet. So manje government in a Tianga Nako, Pitta Muriba CDF. But CDF on a boy at Passa twenty five thousand. Muri twenty five thousand, eh? Mm -mm, Tasevens. Dear Pamene Manje, Tinari Mamu Munda, Uyu, Monga Mamene Umu, Nakumbuyo Kwanga, Tinari Ma Chili. 
tinashanga mpili pili after tashanga mpili pili futi tinashanga kuna potato so ichili iti zambo kolola after three months tiambo kolola munga kuyanga na maningi munga tika ganiza maningi pari market market ye veterinati na sakiri ratu so ichili ika apia chabe nishambo enda kwa mene tinasakira kutiba nga tiguleku ichili ya meti na shanga tia mikila chukati za shita benefit for three years so tiriwoko nduwe la maningi bazimai mugaden park wadi papa mene bana chitira through drama za cdf so tia mikila kweni kweni tifu na kuonga zikomo kuli wakateka watu kuli makamaka pande wana onja zila kuo ndrama ya constituency so that at least once it was my na makoparito vem tiri nayo tishiteko benefit ali farm ya mene tiri mamu ni 5 hectares so tika gulisa takolo la tizafunga kutiku peleka ndrama za mene talent ngila i farm so tipe mpako kutimu kachita ndizira tizakuwa nisongana farm ya ato over 20 cooperatives benefited from the 2022 Constituency Development Fund Cooperatives Grant in Mungkolo Ward 15 of Kanyama Constituency. Last year, we gave uh, grants to over 20 groupings who got uh, uh, empowered by the government. And um, some of them, let me just say a majority of them, they have done which they requested the money for. Therefore, we as the government, we are very happy that uh, the administration of uh, President Haga and Hichilema has decided to bring the money closer to the people. For me, this is uh, the real definition of more money into your pocket. As you can see, the women, uh, for this cooperative where we are, they are very happy that the government has empowered them and they are able to do this business which they think they will be able to help their families. Back Agric Women Multipurpose Cooperative was formed in 2016 with a membership of 20 women. The cooperative applied for 15,000 kwacha CDF Cooperatives Grant and they were successful. When they got the 15,000 kwacha CDF Cooperative Grant, they started growing yam, the West African staple food. The question that needs an answer is why growing yam in Zambia? When we head of CDF, we decided that we apply for CDF and then start with uh, yams. Since uh, we, we went also for workshops for yams and we heard about how nutritious yams are and how it's easy to start the yam business. So then uh, we applied for the grant and then the, with the grant, we asked for the, uh, to be funded for the yams. We were so excited. So we got uh, the CDF uh, grant, have um, invested in the yam. Because with yams, when you start yams, okay, the, the, the seed is also not expensive. And then when it's growing like this, this is just seed, okay, to be seed. So when it grows, we won't have to buy any more yam. We, to, we, to, we, to, we will just be multiplying it. We'll cut into pieces, because they, they grow very big, about like this. So we cut into pieces and then grow again. So this field has got 150 molds. So we are hoping, but by next year, it will even uh, go four times, about 600 molds. Then the next year, it will be 1,000 something molds, you know. So that's how we hope to grow our business. And what we have here is just seed. So as time goes by, you see that the whole area here to be only yams, which we say, I can say to be beneficial for everybody. It was a good move to bring CDF to the people, to the beneficiary. And uh, what we hope is that uh, those that are maybe starting, please support them with the grants. To begin with, don't give them loans, give them grants to start and monitor. So we are happy to say that uh, government has ensured that uh, as women, we are doing, um, we had a, a, a thing, uh, we were given this grant and we know that once the women are empowered in doing what we are doing, more women will come on board 
and our nation is going to really uh, improve. The government has given, it, uh, given us an opportunity to grow ourselves through uh, CDF grants, through CDF loans. So this CDF is real and it's really helping. So it's important that we advance ourselves through CDF. This one is just one of the groups that we've um, empowered. There are many more groups that are doing fine. Others are into poultry farming, others are into village banking, and other, you know, various economic activities. So for me, as the, the area councillor, it's a privilege to work under this administration. It shows how committed we are, and it shows how serious we are in terms of empowering our own people. Hari Mwangan Kumbula Ward 12 had over 21 cooperatives that benefited from the 2022 Constituency Development Fund's Cooperatives Grant. In my ward, we have about 21 cooperatives which benefited from the 2022 CDF grants. <laughs> With a membership of over 600, Livestock Investment Cooperative Society in Chibolia Compound is one of the biggest small livestock market in the country. This cooperative was formed in 2017 to help the women and youths in the small livestock trading. This cooperative deals in small livestock such as pigs, chicken, ducks and goats. This cooperative that you visited today, it is a cooperative that started in 2017 and it is actually uh, one of the cooperatives that uh, provide an opportunity for different uh, you know, people within the community. In our ward here, actually, uh, Armand Akumbula Ward of Kanyama constituency. And one of the critical activities that we do here is actually to provide a platform for actually trading uh, in livestock and also providing a market for livestock traders that are coming from all parts of the country. There are a lot of people are coming from other areas. Others that are coming from southern, eastern and all, and all other areas. They come and sell animals here. Besides that, our youth, as you all know, that this is, we are just near Chiwaria, Chiwaria just nearby. So those youths who are engaging themselves into these activities such as drug abuse, alcohol, the so-called junkies, most of them, they, found, they, they find time to be here and they've been taught how to do business. They've benefited. And the families, some of the families, they have able to take out their children to colleges, do, it's, to do the same business. Livestock Investment Cooperative Society got 25,000 kwacha from the CDF Cooperatives Grant. Using this money, the cooperative brought two butchery cutting machines. These machines are being used to add value to the meat processing which the cooperative is doing and has made it easy to cut the livestock meat to any size the customer may need. We are actually elated that as a cooperative, we actually attempted and through the information that we got from the WDC and from our ward, we actually managed to be provided with the 25,000 CDF that has actually amplified activities here. As you have actually seen that we've procured uh, two bandsaw machines that are there to actually help in to facilitate the processing of meat for women that are actually coming to slaughter so that they are able to, you know, to, to make some income. We just want to say this gesture is actually one of its kind, as you have actually seen, that uh, that particular resource that we got, it has actually given us an opportunity to add on our machinery. And the uh, viewer will witness that uh, those machines are in operation, meaning that uh, they, have, uh, incre they have increased in production and also they have added value to the meat they, because they can cut the meat in small pieces and also able to, to sell to other customers. The cooperative members are very grateful to government for the grant which has improved their lives, as many of them had nothing to do for a living. CDF. 
Pe chitipasa, chilio chitire muyakini. Oro kuti titore, tika mwe dirinki, oro pe kine tika gure nkuku, tika fula ye yai. Te chizonka la pansi. Na kuganiza, chatiri ye pano ni chinji, yai mwele kanti gure mabucha mashini. Nye mwete guri la mamashini yala. Tuarumba kapata, ita number one, government, never buy, buy a kind of gire. Iku tibaka tupa imali, a CDF, a nkamu ya boyonza ya yuki. Iku amba kutitubele satuma yuki, watu jita impawa, watu jita nina vita, pinda mungali. Ayamani kwa toma yuki tuwa sumpoka kapata. Mwati ba mbaga leba mi, ni mama shinzi kutu waga ula guya, tunabere shamari alia, kazi yo guya, tunetamari alia, tunabumande yesu, tunabana, tunabamaga intu, wana kisubalai ya mamunyo omu, wala samaga watu wa watu. Kwa wala tuwa wala mpungu every time, higi, higi, ya kwa mbago tituli kumengi, amari ya ya siki yefu kwa kwa kwa. Ba government kwenye nabo ni romba. Pita muri ba CTF, pita muri ba Fulisha, muka wongo kesi, aka cooperative, yama animals. Awe ifuatu atoke na mwanzo. Ndio chini cha kutulekele shi. Kwa hida, lesale ba pa la mufio ba lechita, kwa ba tasha. Supporting initiatives that would empower people is the only way to go. We just want to urge the government: Can they continue to look at how they can amplify? and increase a little bit in terms of the allocations that can be provided for cooperatives to actually grow. We've got export markets. For example, livestock here is not only actually sold within Nusak. There are people that come in to buy livestock from here and there's export that is actually happening now with our neighboring countries like DRC. So we need to tap into this potential to try and find export markets. And this is the foundation. For me as the area councillor, I'm very happy with what these cooperatives who are funded, what they have done. They have put the funds into good use. So this is a, a progress to us as a new Dawn government. And we are looking forward. And we are even appealing to our president that even next year, we should also increase the CDF from 28.3, even to more, even reaching 40 million. So that we empower more people, reach out people, because a lot of people, there's too, too much demand on the ground. So we need... Uh, to empower and to reach out to more people so that we, we improve the living standard of our people in our community. Onomwaka Multipurpose Cooperative of Chilika Ward got 15,000 kwacha CDF Cooperative Grant. They started a business of selling bananas. From the money they got, they bought 10,000 crates and they are renting a refrigerated container. The members of this women cooperative are very grateful to President Hagainde Hijilema and his government for this timely grant which has improved their lives. Tima kulisa banana wa zimai wa mkoparetivu unomuaka. E banana wana tipa sandrama za CDF. Tina tenga CDF 15,000. Pa 15,000 ya mene tina tenga. Tina mba kuwada banana munga wa zimai. Ima titandizira tikuwa nisa kupeleka wana kumaskulu. Tikuwa nisa kutandizira utu na utu kulinga na kutindisa wa zimai. Ii kodrumu tine ntinga. But in drama it has CDF for 15,000. Tina kula takula chani market. But it has been like government here too. Because it is picking is a kuenda ba muamba. Masaka jaya mene tenze kukunda kunda. Awe shua lelo tazipe za tirimuti. Tirimukotrumo. The process in the long process. Ah, papa mene mwai wona. The banana is green. But the manje yapsha. The yankara red na kukulisa. Tika di kufuna, tika di kufuna vintu vambi ili maningi. Ii banana, tifuna ma shop light, mwanze mja tisi supplier. Mwanze tizaenda tisakile business, tisi supplier mwuma supermarket simuti. Because ii banana ipasa yothi kumundu. Ii nchito wamene tiseweza daji wa HH, chita ndiziramo, vana, vazikulu, na maofa na mawidoz wamene tima sunga banyumba. Ii nchito daji wamene munachipasa, osa alega, Ndiye mutima onkala 
Onka la monga tati, onka la monga parent. Chifu pasi monatandizile, muntu moza, monatandizile vantu vambiri. Vali kuminzi, wamene tiba, wamene wama tandizi, wathuru ya mene hii, nchito wamene tumagwira. Ono, ndilo mbabu oku tinobaja mbele, mabali kulindi mende, fesi wendo. Amu imigile, mutakali mumanda, mutale mumanda, mutali de huli ya wati, saza katipasa, saza katipasa, iya hii. Awe ya kumupa, mwe kujitacho mwele, de kujita, wala nata hii banana. Mwela kwa kujitaji mwa saraji kwa ya mchamu kwa ya kubeleka, nwa majembele. Mwela kwa ya mwa saraji kwa ya mchamu 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 Chinkonja soap is used both for bathing and washing and is widely used in densely populated compounds. Vema Multipurpose Cooperative has 12 employees, of which 8 are male and 4 are female, hence contributing to the job creation in the country. Vema Multipurpose Cooperative got 18,000 Kwacha CDF grant, which has greatly improved its Chinkonja soap making business. Last year, under CDF, Paripo kere ndalama ya kuringa pati 18,000 kwacha. 18,000 kwacha etu wapo kere, tuwani mdo kubomba inchitwe ya kupanga sopo. This is chingonja sopo. Hii sopo ya li wapati mandi. Hii sopo ila tuwapusapula yoku likonze. Tuwapusapula yoku saudeni, kuluwa pula, easteni, westeni. In short, kuda andati, all parts of the Zambia yisuba itisha ni, ya alifikere wazuba itisha. Elo yisu masani. Foi a uma menina sopoi, e a dispa, o monte hoje está a coanish, o monte é sopoi. Eu estou a pegar em drama, e tinha thousand prazi, foi um pouco bom fia, foi um pouco steve into, ele foi muito foi um pouco bom ba, ele tu a ringe a pôr na van tu a mover cais, tu a ligar até uma aba na caixa, aba de four, aba um, aba de eight, todo, tu a ver twelve, on topo o dia ti, para de twelve Tuari kisha pwa wantu wanga, wamo, ni mpita wali pofi. Wali wako disabled, tawenda wino wino, aa, moro. Chene pili wakutila ti, nga inga tuwa lile fin, kutuwa fika patarika, kutuwa pange fin, tui fin, kuchere na apa. Kwa kituwa ngisha wantu wabe, abe ingi. Tawenda kutuwa wantu wantu wange ngisha, kutuwa wafurisha, nendupuwa shimbi ya geni. Inchito kwenye ibala ituwa fwa sana. Uye mchima ushiringi lekote kapo, pantu, inchito na ituwa fwa kusungi na mwantu puwe shingi, naba fya shivesu, Na my brother is very swampy. To live a fresh and muddy inch to inch to inch to his massane. No, the police are going to be massacred. But if he never does come, never never come to school. There's no chance we're going to get free education. Omart Women's Cooperative was also given fifteen thousand kwacha and started a broiler chickens business. The women of this group are very grateful to the government for giving them this amount of money. Isewa CDF zinapokele na drama zatu fifteen thousand. Omo grupu tu huvangu kum. E yetu agoba inaawa ya number two. E agusa anguna tu kwa isamba la gari. So eno tu adi wola mbaho no mende wa mbaku ti. Gai tu gai gai zmana kutu guahiri ya mbuni boya tu guahiri ya wau mala CDF. E wau mbaku ti e grupu yesu yonke gumbere. Tu pago lomba alimu mhono mende, yangu ambao tu yake jata muri mamu pati maningi, yangu ambao tu tujibu hii gu 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 hutula mau mesu, anto mama mama familia zesu. Tasha wakate kapa ri shimpi ya watu pere, tu atwa kwenye nyepo yui nomti, mapantu kuno moku, tatu akwete pone ya idia, tu arefu a idi shauti ni tatu asunga shani yawa, na chitu a ikala shani, ba chuku piti la muri ubu teko bui, shire ba tu afua. So tuleta shabereke la pape ni nangu wana mayo wambia wale fuku fominga yuko pareti vwewele la kuunuma. So ti wonga siko mwakuli wa president vatu, vati tandi zako, kutipasa nrama isi, chukwa, ziti tandi zira, apapa grupu ya mwao na palima widozi, palivena nangu vati tandi zika thulu za mene isi nrama. I want to thank the CDF committee and the secretariat 
or CDF at Lusaka City Council. They are doing a great job. They are doing a great job. They wake up in the morning up to sunset to make sure that the people of Kanyama Wati 13, they benefit from this CDF. I want to thank the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Haga Inde Hejirema, for increasing CDF from 1.6 million to 28.3 million. Through this CDF, uh, youths, women have benefited. Have benefited uh, in my ward, Kanyama Ward 13, about 23 cooperatives have been uh, benefited. Uh, example is uh, Walmart. Youth Intellect is another cooperative which got the CDF Cooperative Grant in Kanyama Ward 13 and was given 20,000 kwacha, which they then used to venture into chicken feed making machine and they're experimenting their feeds, which they're making on 30 broiler chicks, which are doing fine. These young men and women are making their own chicken feed to reduce on operation costs. Youth Intellect, after receiving the, the funds, they bought uh, a machine for making uh, uh, I mean feed. Uh, we are experimenting our, our feeds from 34 chicks and the 34 chicks, the feed is just uh, reacting well. We have also a new stock of 158 chicks, they are there. We are also thanking the government for this wonderful opportunity which they have given us, even to my fellow youths out there. You are saying that a cooperative is very difficult to hear, to, to open, but we, when, you, when you know what you want in life, you'll be able to manage it. For me, I'm just thanking the government, because without the government, we are not going to be where we are. So we thank him for everything that he has done for us. We're still asking for those youths here out there, and they can also apply. They also make my cooperatives and apply, so that we can be in the same room. Youth Interact. We have started. Um, we have started feed produ uh, production. So from our production, we are also thinking of uh, entering into farming, so that when those raw product, when are produced by ourselves, then it will be easy. Because these raw materials for making feed, we are we are buying. So rather than buying, we want to venture into farming. So uh, this CDF has really helped the youths. Uh, Way back, the youths uh, used to go to drink beers, uh, doing bad things in the community, uh, junks. But through this CDF, they have managed to come together to do something so that they can uh, help themselves. So this CDF has really worked here in Kanyama. Meanwhile, in Ward 14, the happy members of Tandeka Multipurpose Cooperative in Kanyama were given 15,000 kwacha and started chicken layering business and are now selling eggs which have greatly benefited its members. I president president CDF, we are the beneficiaries. But Tandeka are, are the ones who uh, are able to benefit from the CDF. Kuno kwa mene tiri hili tisunga nkuku. Nkuku za mene tinasunga pa fest. Tinasunga nkuku za white mabroilers. Apa titeka maleas. Kwa machi na ngocha nini nga pempe, nchako bati at least since hii tinatenga 15,000. Pari 15,000 ya ni wana tipasa nga titika kwa nisi kusunga nkuku. Awe, tipempa kutiva tirundira epo na zina ngo, chifukwa na madreams ya kuru, ya neti ngafune kuti ti sevenzele epo, kumandra manje ziti chepera. Kuparetivu ni abu ino. Bamene siwa ziwa guru ya kuparetivu azimai. I guru yon seya mene mwaona apa. Are the beneficiaries? I zindrama za CDF, ze mumbi la kuti CDF, CDF. Nichi ntuchabu ino maningi. The major role of government is to reduce poverty levels in the country. Hence this Constituency Development Funds grant, which the people of Kanyama constituency have benefited from, is a welcome move.